To the southeast side now, where Tucsonans have been hammering city government to put a stop to street racing. Kega 9's Craig Smith reports from a street racing hotspot near Houghton and Irvington ahead of tomorrow's city council meeting, which will consider bringing more technology to the fight. Street racing is a real danger here on Tucson southeast side. Well, now the Tucson City Council is considering using high tech to make some of those hot cars cool down. The long, smooth straightaways on Houghton Road make it an attractive spot to race, but police say the danger goes beyond speed alone. Racers may take over intersections. The large crowds can lead to fights and shootings. Now the Tucson City Council is considering an arsenal of tech to catch racers and make it harder for them to organize their races. The city manager recommends a mobile speed enforcement van aimable cameras that can see and record wider areas, license plate readers in fixed locations and on police cars, more gunshot detectors, and encrypting police radios so racers can't listen in on police and stay one step ahead. The cost would be about $994,000. The city manager still has to figure out where the money would come from. Federal grants are one possibility. David Wilson lives along Houghton. He's heard the racers for years. He says tech is not a total solution. Technology is good, uh, but somebody has to monitor the technology and then respond to activations from the technology. And that's another question is, is the city going to support the extra response uh, time, uh, the extra people to respond to, the, to these alarms or to this? activations of the technology. Possibilities for later phases could include an airplane for long-term surveillance and even GPS darts police could attach to a fleeing car so officers could track it down later. Near Houghton and Irvington, Craig Smith, KGUN 9. Craig is our Southeast reporter. If you have a story you want him to cover, you can go ahead and scan that QR code right there on your screen and you can send him an email to get in contact with him.